It's Roger from the Old School Gun Shop again, and uh, we're going to talk about uh, holsters today, so thanks for joining us. We'll kind of try to keep it short and sweet and get an understanding of the best holster for the, for the best situation. It's important to have a proper holster to carry your gun, whether you're carrying your gun for short periods or long periods, and then different uh, types of weather. There's all types of situations in choosing the right holster for the job. The general rule of thumb is, with anything, especially in the sporting goods industry, always buy the best you can get. And we'll talk a little bit about that. One of the most popular holster types is the belt slide holster. The belt slide holster rides high on the body and it's designed to fit close to the body. Sometimes they're known as pancake holsters, uh, belt slide holsters, uh, hip holsters. This would be just a little bit more elaborate than a, a belt slide because it protects the whole of the gun. Uh, holsters can be slimmer and thinner and they can also cover the gun like this one does. This is what's known as an open top holster. You have open top holsters and you have thumb brake holsters which give some security protection. The holster can have a, a, a different angle depending on the shooter and his uh, uh, preference and his height and the length of his arms. There's lots of different ways to uh, position the gun on your body for comfort and speed and security. Uh, right now we have a holster with a slight, uh, slight tilt to the forward and if I draw her out, out she comes. Also important be able to have a holster that can get your gun back in quickly. Uh, for obvious reasons, when you're done with your uh, using your gun, you need to have a place to put it. And getting it back in your holster quickly is an advantage. This is a paddle holster. Paddle holster is a great way to carry a handgun. It allows you to put it on quickly, take it off quickly, and generally get the gun out quickly. It is something you want to practice with, just like all our holsters. This is not automatic stuff. You need to work with this, work out the bugs, how to put it on, how to take it off. I can simply work my slacks, put the holster in place, make sure she's settled, and I have a quick holster on and off. I mentioned a moment ago about making sure that you practice with your holster so you can get the gun in and get the gun out. Not every holster design works well for everybody. This is the paddle, which is very popular. A lot of my customers and a lot of my employees carry it this way. But this holster for me, when I go to draw it, I'm having a hell of a time getting it out. My guess is, is because I'm small, my arms are short, I have a hard time getting the lift on this that I need. Or maybe someone a bit taller might not have that issue. These are inside the pants holsters that we see here. They're made of different materials. Um, we have nylon, we have kydex, and we have leather. There's many opinions on what is best. You uh, will have to try for yourself. If you can find the uh, option of a place where you can try on different holsters, uh, then that would be best for you to try them on and see how the comfort level uh, feels. I, I will usually guarantee to my customers uh, a certain amount of time to take the holster home, try it, and if they like it, they can keep it. If not, they can bring it back to me. These are popular designs for keeping your gun hidden and secure. Generally, for guns that are of the medium large size and smaller, uh, inside the pants holster will be comfortable enough for you to carry. This is a pocket holster. It's designed to fit in one of your pockets, front or back. It's designed to hold the gun. A pocket holster needs to allow you to keep the gun upright in your pocket, so when you grab it, you have access to the handle. So. This one would be put in my pocket. It's rather comfortable. Uh, it doesn't take up too much room. I think for limited amounts of time I could carry this around just fine. I need the gun. I can reach into my pocket and pull it out. Okay. Now you notice the holster did not come out with it. Uh, it has a rubberized uh, cover on it designed to keep it uh, a little bit sticky in the pocket. The, th the ideal thing would be to draw the gun from the pocket and have the holster remain in the pocket. If your holster does come out, you'll need to be able to uh, flick it away. So you'll do that by doing what? What we're talking about is practicing with your, with your gun and your belt and your holster. Not everyone dresses the same or necessarily has the uh, same ideal body shape. So this is what's known as a belly band. Uh, we see uh, uh, women customers who do, don't often wear a belt with their clothing or men who like to wear uh, a sweatpant or a, uh, a scrub type slack. And that's not the best way for carrying a gun. So they've developed something here called a belly band. These things are great. They are simple, they're relatively inexpensive for some of them, and they're easy to use. This one here is designed for my little shield, 
and we're going to show you how she works. It's held in with a simple snap and makes the gun easy to get through by pulling the Velcro and drawing the gun. Now the impor one important thing about having a gun on is getting the gun back in the holster. All right. Now this is uptight and it's crushed my uh, pocket here where the gun holds. But I can easily, temporarily, go right back to being secure again. Putting my gun here, putting my gun in the small of my pants for future use. Belly bands are great for some folks. This is a shoulder holster. This is a simple rig uh, designed to hold the gun in a horizontal position under my left arm, being a right-handed shooter. Shoulder holsters are great. They're comfortable. They get the gun off your hip. Um, carrying a gun on the side can be a little bit troublesome for those of us that have done it we know. Uh, carrying a pound, a pound of steel or two pounds of steel around all day is not always the most comfortable thing to do. For those of us with a, a bit of a tonnage out here in the front, sometimes getting around to that holster can be difficult. Okay, This is a really nice little rig from, I believe, um, DeSantis, uh, designed for my little shield here. A good holster will fit your gun properly. Holsters are designed for particular guns. Sometimes they are also designed for a, a series of guns that are similar of shape and size. Do not marry yourself to just what it says on the package when you're looking for a holster. It may say Glock, but it also may fit a Smith & Wesson Sigma. So there's always best when you go looking for a holster, take your gun with you, unloaded, uh, to the local shop. If you have something like a Glock, and my guess is they would have one there for you to use. But if you have something unusual that your dealer may not stock, hey, best to take your gun, take it unloaded in a case, and always uh, ask the, the dealer for permission to try holsters. He'll want to clear your gun, and rightly so. My experience with holsters is on the retail level. I'm a merchant. I've been in the gun business for over 35 years, selling, buying, and helping folks pick out holsters. I'm not a certified gun trainer. The advice you'll get from me would be in understanding the a holster from a um, seller's point of view and as yourself a buyer's point of view. There's different things to choose from, many different shapes and sizes. Learn as much as you can about this stuff. It'll be a trial and error. Many folks end up with a drawer full or a bag full of holsters before they're done. But by talking to someone maybe like myself with a little bit of experience in buying and selling holsters, maybe we could keep that to a minimum. This is saying goodbye from the old school gun shop here in Livonia, Michigan. Uh, if you would like to contact me, you're welcome to do so. I can be contacted through our website, shooterservice.com. You'll be able to click on a link to uh, send me an email. I always respond to my emails. So thank you very much for watching today. Hopefully this has helped you uh, understand a little bit about holsters. And um, thank you.